Belgian MEP warns of horrendous impact of no deal on EU economy amid fears of more exits. Belgian MEP Geert Bourgeois has warned of the horrendous impact of a no-deal Brexit on the EU economy, as he admitted that the European Union would lose more jobs than the British. Brussels has been urged to compromise, amid fears of the horrendous impact of a no-deal Brexit on the EU economy. Belgian MEP Geert Bourgeois said that the consequences of a no-deal Brexit would cost the EU 1.2 million jobs and far surpass the disaster of the coronavirus. Mr Bourgeois, who is the former leader of the Flanders region, also told MEPs that the EU has to draw lessons from Brexit and work to stop other countries from leaving the bloc. He said, everything ought to be done in the last days, in the last hours, to reach an agreement with the UK because the consequences of a no deal are horrendous. The MEP admitted that job losses across the EU would outweigh the losses felt in Britain. He explained, for the EU we would lose 1.2 million jobs, and this would come over and above the disaster of coronavirus. The UK would lose half a million jobs. In Flanders, we would lose 2.6% of our GDP, and 30,000 jobs alone. He added, I would ask the Commission to do some rapid work on the Brexit fund to make sure those regions hit hardest would be covered. I think, it must be possible to reach an agreement with pragmatism, to find a balance between the sovereignty of the Brits and the integrity of our single market. We have the focus on the future. We need to draw lessons from Brexit. This is not something we should see repeated, this terrible situation. Article 50 needs to be reviewed. I hope it will never be applied again but if you want to leave, there should be a blueprint for it. Earlier in the European Parliament session, the EU's chief negotiator warned that there are just a few hours left for the UK and EU to agree a post-Brexit trade deal. Michel Barnier said it was the moment of truth for the two sides to come to an agreement. He said there was still a chance of a deal, but the path is very narrow. This comes after a late phone call between Boris Johnson and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen on Thursday night. Following the call, Boris Johnson suggested that a no-deal scenario was very likely unless the EU position changed substantially. On fishing, Downing Street said Mr Johnson told von der Leyen that the UK could not accept a situation where it was the only sovereign country in the world not to be able to control access to its own waters for an extended period and to be faced with fisheries quotas which hugely disadvantaged its own industry. Mrs. von der Leyen said bridging big differences, particularly on fishing rights, would be very challenging, while the Prime Minister said discussions were in a serious situation.